dressed as an apple today. So, I'm here uh, at the time of recording, leading up to homecoming, pumped to go in my little fruit costume. But from what I've heard, it seems like kids these days ugh, just aren't eating healthy. So, I'm here to tell you some really cool, fun facts, as a PSA, about fruit. Specifically, my favorite fruit. Can you guess what it is? Hello? Oh, this is a banana, not a thumb. Did you know that bananas may have been the world's first cultivated fruit? The first time I ever had an experience with a banana. <laughs> I'll admit. It's not a happy moment. This little jacket you got there. Yeah. Are you wearing that? Perhaps you have a great love of bananas. You know, I do. This one time, there was a bird in a tree uh, near my house, and he was like yawning and squawking all day. And I decided I'm gonna get him out of the tree. And I thought on it for a minute, then I realized. Banana is the answer. So I took this banana and I looked at it and I thought, I could use this like a boomerang. So I threw it and uh, didn't come back and I missed the bird. Archaeologists have found evidence of banana cultivation in New Guinea as far back as 8,000 BC. That's when the Flintstones were still around. Also, did you know that a bunch of bananas is called a hand? A single banana. It's a finger. Well, hi. So, what are your thoughts on bananas? Um, I, I like them. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're my favorite fruit. Wow. That's great. You know that bananas can be a variety of colors, from yellow to green to brown and even gray. While on vacation, a nine-year-old George W. Bush almost died in an accident where he fell from the top of a building to the street below. Luckily, his fall was broken when he fell into a street-side food stand selling bananas, claiming to have seen God speak to him. During his fall, George became a man of devout faith. Two bananas. Now, ever since the accident, the former president of the United States been known to always carry around one of the bananas that broke his fall all those years ago in his right pocket as a good luck charm. What's your name? Hey, I'm Dylan Ellison. Cool guy. So, what are your thoughts on bananas? Yeah, they're, they're pretty good, pretty tasty. A lot of potassium in it, you know? That's what I'm going to say at the end of the segment. How'd you, how'd you know that? A phony massacre was a tragedy caused by the accidental detonation of a banana-scented superweapon capable of mass destruction. Womp womp. I mean, actually stuck a banana all the way up my nose once as a kid. George Washington, the first president of the United States of America, managed to construct a boat made entirely of bananas and crossed the Delaware. This historical moment was the inspiration for the name of the sunscreen brand, Banana Boat. I can feel myself rotting. Why don't we ask? Great. Energetic. Jovial spirit. Will Ferrell. So, what are your thoughts on bananas? See, it's funny because he's a cardboard cutout and he can't really speak. A man named Clint Waldrop actually managed to rob 52 banks with only a banana as a weapon. He was nicknamed the Los Angeles Banana Man. By the way, did you know bananas are a great source of potassium? Oh, I bet I can beat that world record. It's so, a shot. <coughs> wow, those are some really interesting takes on banana and banana culture. I'm Blake Berman, 
signing out.